Hi everyone, my name is Quentin Perron, I'm the CSO and co-founder of Ictos and today I'm going to present you Makia, our Denova design platform which allow you to generate molecules from heat discovery to late stage lead optimization. In a few words, Ictos is a startup company based uh, in Paris. We have more than 50 employees and we are developing solutions for organic chemistry, medicinal chemistry, agrochemical chemistry. So basically, we are developing two main technology, deep generative models to generate new molecules, small molecules, peptides, and also another technology, data-driven retrosynthesis technology. We have applied those technology on many projects, many content contexts, and we have encapsulated all our knowledge along those years into those two main softwares. But today the topic is Denova Design through Makia. So basically, uh, Makia allow you to design new organic molecules in any situation, at any stage, from heat discovery to late stage lead optimization. What do you have inside Makia? Basically, you have first um, a page where you can upload data set, SD file, CSV file. Basically, it's matrix containing molecules and activities. Based on this data, you can build QSAR models. So we have an automatic uh, models which allow to build automatically very high quality QSAR models. Then uh, once you have built your models, you want to generate optimal molecules. So for that, we have designed four main generative AI technology, and I will go through it. But basically, you have the growing optimizer, linking optimizer, novelty generator, and the fine-tuning generator. On top of that, you can uh, plug to Makia any type of fitness uh, functions like docking, uh, similarity to... Uh, massive chemical space through SpaceMax, uh, or your in-house generic models, for instance. And finally, we have Spire, which is encapsulated inside Makia to perform the retrosynthesis of the generated compounds. Thanks to this stack of technology, you are able to easily design optimal molecules easy to make. Makia is available through two interfaces, either PyMakia for um, um, usually computational chemist uh, who likes to code um, and develop models inside their uh, pipeline, or uh, with a GUI for medicinal chemists you know, to easily set up a generative AI without any knowledge of codes, but simply by clicking on some very uh, nice and easy to understand button and options. Makia is deployed on AWS. And in less than a week, uh, we can uh, develop uh, the platform on your infrastructures. Um, it's auto-scalable. So this is something very important because it allows you to, uh, have, uh, to reduce drastically the cost of the GPU and CPU, because if you are not using the compute, uh, you are not charged for that. And also, as I explained, uh, we have developed uh, an API gateway to take advantage of your in-house score in a very secured uh, fashion. So, um, as I said, Makia has been developed uh, thanks to many projects and, and uh, use cases we have encountered. Uh, during the last five years at ICTOS. And one of the first classical use case is to take a reference compound and to change the central core. Several ways to do that inside Micah. Either you want to keep some key intermediates you have on the shelf. Let's say that you want to perform a reaction in this position starting from this alcohol and you want to introduce a building block starting from this aromatic amine, you can do that by defining the exit vector and looking for a commercial building blocks which are gonna react on those two exit vectors. Another way to do that is say, okay, I don't care about the chemistry which is gonna be involved in this reaction. I just want to keep these substructures and these substructures. Both ways of possible. The first way is through the linking optimizer. 
So you have your two intermediates and the algorithm will try to find a good building blocks uh, which is commercially available in order to maximize a given fixed fitness function, QSAR models, docking score, whatever. This can be used to perform lead optimization or scaffold opinion. As you can see, I can generate very similar compounds like this one, which is quite similar to this one, or quite different and diverse structures, which are totally different from my input molecules. The only similar uh, branch uh, are the external one, which are the one which has been defined as intermediate. So you rapidly understand that thanks to that, we can do late optimization or scaffolding. Another generative AI covering the same use case, still I want to generate something new. I don't, I'm not, uh, I don't want to define any starting points. I'm open to any type of chemistry and I want something novel and different from the commercially available building block. And that's why in that case, I will use a novelty. And as you can see, I can end up to exotic and new groups not commercially available. Of course, this will involve more chemistry, but you have more novelty. Finally, you have the fine tuning where uh, this is an algorithm which allow you to stay very, very close to the initial structures and to perform tiny modification in order to hyper optimize a high number of parameters still staying in the same chemical space. And as you can see here, uh, we have what we call the nitrogen dense. So basically that nitrogens uh, change some places. You have some chain elongation, nitrogen replacements by sulfur, oxygen, etc. But as you can see, we stay very close to our reference compounds. Another very interesting use case is I want to modify an external branches, keeping the rest of the molecule fixed again same ideas, either uh, this is, um, this is uh, produced by a given intermediate and a given exit vector, or uh, I fix the substructures and then the algorithm can put anything in that position. Again, to uh, perform the first use case, I will use the growing optimizer. I have my exit vector, my intermediate, and I will try to find commercial building blocks which can react in such position. And as you can see, I can have very similar ideas or very different one, depending on what is commercially available. And again, this is directed by a fitness function. Either you can use a Tanimoto similarity or QSAR models or docking score without Tanimoto similarity to find something different. It's really up to you. The novelty to find something different, but not necessarily commercially available. So you can create completely new ideas from scratch. And finally, the fine tuning to stay very close to my reference compounds. And as you can see, keeping the same ideas, the same spirit. Another very interesting use case is to start from scratch. So I want to generate new ideas. I don't have any ideas of the starting point. I don't have any ideas of the exit vector. And for that, I will use the multi-step forward generative AI. So this algorithm takes a fitness function, QSAR models, docking, or do docking score, whatever, and it picked randomly a starting point randomly define an exit vector, randomly define another starting point, make the reaction happen, and it can do that on several reaction steps. Then the generated compound is scored, and based on the results, the algorithm will take decision to take a most promising starting point, a most promising exit vector, and another commercial starting point in order to maximize the fitness functions. This generative AI allow you to have access to 10 to the power of 15 feasible molecules because thanks to this approach, you can control the starting point. They are all commercially available, all the building block, and you, you can also control very precisely the chemistry. So it's a very powerful generative AI to generate new ideas from scratch. As I said, Mikea 
uh, generate any type of compound in any type of context and this generation is not done by random it's guided by different type of models for instance you can use statistical models local global models either built by via the auto ml inside micta or those generic models it can also driven by 3D models, docking, shape, pharmacophore, electrostatic similarity, or with your preferred 3D models uh, you have developed in-house via an API. Or also we can use metrics like 2D similarity, molecular descriptors, and others via API. This is what we have right now in early 2023, and what is coming next in the few months is Micah 3D. So basically, the idea is to input a protein, input a reference ligand, you define the interaction you want to produce inside the pocket, and Micah will generate new molecules, making interaction at the expected position compared to the reference ligand, but with a totally different scaffold. It's very efficient to perform scaffolding pattern busting. Another very interesting feature is automatic data preparation. So you upload a data set and Makia will automatically clean it, deduplicate the line, remove the string into the cell to make it compatible to perform machine learning on it. Very soon, as I said, we'll have the 3D ligand based similarity. Uh, it allows to cover the case where you don't have access or you don't have any information regarding the protein of your, uh, and the 3D structures of your targets. And also, we are actively working on data visualization in order to allow you to rapidly brood uh, across the generated results. Makia, as I said, is a very powerful platform. We use it at ICTOS every day uh, on a lot of different types of projects and uh, also with our clients. Uh, and uh, we have obtained a lot of uh, nice uh, and successful proof of concept, uh, for instance, with internal projects where we have been able to design from scratch new products and new compounds, uh, reaching micromolar activity. Recently, we received nanomolar activity after two DMT cycle. It's a very powerful approach to convert rapidly. It's a combination with scaffolding and fragment growing. With MMV also, we have performed some heat discovery thanks to the platform. Uh, 200 molecules have been synthesized. Testing are ongoing and we are waiting for the results. So with other uh, companies, we are obtained nanomolar activity, uh, below 100 nanomolar activity with South Korean biotech using Makia in, in, in a scaffolding context. In a hit to lead, uh, same results observed where you have uh, initial database in yellow, and then we put this database inside Micah, we build model, and we generate new molecules with Micah. So this is in green, the molecules coming from the collaboration with that client. In the X axis, you have the number of fixed objectives. And as you can see in the initial data set, the best compounds are maximizing four objectives out of uh, eight. And here with Mike out of seven, sorry, and here with Micah, uh, basically you can, uh, in a few uh, DMT cycle, obtain molecules which match all the endpoints simultaneously. And we obtain the same behavior with different type of project and clients where we can shift the distribution toward the right, maximizing more objectives simultaneously with Micah compared to the initial data set. And this type of sentence, for instance, Makia MPO clearly works well. It's not our sentence. This graphic is taken from a client presentation where it shows that uh, using Makia clearly helps them to accelerate their project. And finally, in lead optimization, when you have many objectives to optimize simultaneously and it becomes quite difficult for a chemist to take into account all these objectives simultaneously. We have obtained uh, very impressive results with all those companies where we have been able to deliver very high quality uh, preclinical candidates. So finally, uh, this is it for my care today. I want to thank you um, and, and uh, feel free to contact us if you want to 
know more about our technology and if you want to perform a trial of Micia, of course, this technology has been developed thanks to uh, a tremendous team of um, highly qualified computational chemists, medicinal chemists, data scientists, engineers, and software development. So I'm quite uh, proud of this team and um, I want to thank them for the great job they are doing at ICTOS. Thank you very much and please again uh, do not hesitate to contact, to, to contact us. It's very easy for us to provide you an access to Macchia. Thank you very much.